uh, I want to preface this all by saying that you know what we're presenting today is you know the culmination of Festo North America having more than 50 years of market leadership and pneumatic automation components. Um, that's combined with over two decades of research and development in remote I.O. and controls technology. And the result is a system of automation components that work together seamlessly. Um, they, they provide users an unparalleled level of easy integration and robust functionality for the equipment and machinery on their factory floor. And I'd like to start off by showing you a few key technical benefits of the Festo automation platform. And I think the best way to do that is with some, some diagrams. So what I've got here on this slide is a representation of a typical machine, say on a manufacturing floor. And we all know that within that machine, there are going to be uh, any number of automation devices and components. And we can roughly group the, a lot of those devices into uh, field devices like sensors and actuators, and then controls. And the way we typically look at this, instead of kind of scattered around on the machine, we'll typically display these in a um, something like this, a, a 2D diagram where we've got field devices down at the bottom of the diagram. So our sensors and stack lights, other types of outputs, our motors and drives, and pneumatic uh, components all near the bottom of the the hierarchy and then uh, up near the top we'll have our PLC or other machine controller and and then we're going to connect all these devices together so you've, you've I'm sure you've seen plenty of diagrams like this mm -hmm. um, Festo is known primarily for our pneumatic valve terminals or uh, one of our key product lines is our intelligent uh, valve terminals and then, um, you know, a common solution to connect all this stuff together within a machine is using remote I.O. And so I've got some remote I.O. modules added to this. And um, then we'll connect all the sensors and actuators to the remote I.O. and the pneumatic valve terminals and then connect those all up to the PLC with an industrial Ethernet connection, whether that's EtherCAT, Ethernet IP, Profinet or Modbus. You know, we see all these are the main industrial Ethernet protocols that we see out there in the world. And uh, this is a very well established approach to wiring devices around a machine. It's it's well, well adopted, well accepted. And, you know, we see this being increasingly used as companies move towards digitizing all of their data. So at, because of our unique perspective in the industry, having uh, so much experience on the pneumatic side and the control side, we have found some opportunities, we think, to improve this, this exact system like architecture for our customers. And that is what we're talking about when we talk about the Festo Automation Platform. So one of the key benefits that we offer is we we just make a subtle shift in the way that this uh, is laid out. Uh, when you are bringing all these remote I.O. modules and pneumatic valve manifolds and other devices into the industrial ether network, what uh, what you're doing is you're uh, you're adding integration points. So uh, each of these devices that sits on the industrial Ethernet network is an integration point for the controls engineer. They have to program these in, they have to add these to their PLC code, and they have to assign IP addresses to each of these devices. And what we know is that some of the, the most well-known PLC manufacturers on the planet, uh, their most basic PLCs offer a very limited number of IP addresses. So for machine builders that are want to increase the, the number of devices that they're gonna hang on the ethernet network, they are forced to move into increasingly more expensive PLCs. So there is a cost. There are costs associated with all these uh, different devices on the industrial ethernet network. There's actual uh, integration costs in terms of time spent. And then there's hardware costs, both at the PLC and at the device level, because each of these devices now has basically a two port ethernet switch in them. So what we've done at Festo is we've taken a little bit of a step back and we've kind of shifted this. Now, it might not look at, uh, like such a great shift right uh, off the bat, um, 
but what we've done is we've limited the number of devices that are hanging on the industrial ethernet network. So uh, what we've, we've reduced this diagram down to just one integration point. So what we have here is we have a, what we call a bus interface, or um, you could think of it as a gateway. The industrial ethernet protocol is coming into this de device. And then from there, we're connecting to our CPX API, remote IO modules. Valve terminals. One of the benefits of this system architecture looking so similar is that customers are comfortable with it. They know how to they know how to install remote I/O modules around their machine. They, they all the cabling is the same. the The real main difference here is that these Festo devices, these remote I/O modules and valve terminals, all connect to our bus interface, and it's all done seamlessly and transparent to the user. So all of these devices. Uh, look like they're just one smart system. And then that system connects to their uh, PLC through just this one integration point without any loss of data or performance or uh, information. And um, so CPX API, CPX APA, which is the new valve family, those are the two key, you know, product families in this um, in this technology and then uh, the key bullet points here they revolve around what we call festo automation platform or ap this is our backplane communications technology that is running between these devices and these are the key takeaways you get one connection or integration for all io and valves either in the machine or in this area of the machine however you want to manage your system or develop your architecture we support IO link, so this is not just have to be Festo devices in this area of the machine. We can integrate third party devices through our IO link master modules. We support all the major Ethernet networks as listed here, and we can easily switch between those Ethernet networks. So if you think back just a couple of slides where I had all those yellow circles, each of those uh, devices is an integration point, and therefore, if you're a machine builder, for example, who's building a machine for an end user who today is you know, using Ethernet IP, all those devices that integrate on that network have to speak Ethernet IP. If tomorrow you're building or next month you're building a machine for another end user who uses Profinet, you have to replace all those devices with devices that speak Profinet. With this approach, the only thing you have to replace is this one device and everything below that device remains the same. So it, our, our customers that are specialty machine builders and OEM machine builders who have to support multiple protocols, this ability to easily switch between them is, uh, is really uh, beneficial.